Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Sci-Fi Man, and otherwise, and it's Kenny Jr. I'm on my, uh, Star Trek, uh, character, just everything else. And I'm talking with the courtesy title and athlete that's done all about Diaper 3, who's passed away from cancer, so we're all kind of talking about it. A little chat down here. But, um, Captain Radira was asking a while back about how, you know, what am I using, this everything else, uh, that are unable to tank so well. And by the way, this is the Ryzen's shit. Now, I did the uh, other thing where it was stock, it didn't have this thing. But I like it. You look real careful, eh? You can see a little Lud statue in there. A little Ryzen Lud statue I'm sitting in there. As you can see right there. <laughs> but, um, you know, of course, this is my, um, you know, take on it. It's everything else. Uh, now right now I'm running with uh, disruptors because I'm trying to get my um, accolade done. Now pretty much to the, you know, phaser and plasma, I've got that accolade completely done. But the, um, I'll show you what I'm talking about. As you can see, I mean, I've got a, a lot of these done. This is all my, um, down here, the duty officer thing, all these here now. Got to get worked on and get done. But, uh, I've got, um, a Tecreon here that I still got to complete. This is the one I'm now working on, trying to get rid of it, and done, and then the Polaron. So you see, everything else of the, uh, damage accolades are all completed. You see, I mean, working them down. Then I got my events here. You know, and this is all in like the invasion zones and some of the other stuff that everything else. And then of course these uh defender locks, you've got the red alerts here. Yeah, after a while there it was there they active and it was coming out. But now you don't see red alert down here anymore. Once in a great while I'll see, you know, red alert blah blah top up and I'll go to it so by the time I get there it's already gone and over with by the time I get there. But anyway, uh, right now this is the rising shit that everything else, and I like it when you go in the uh, sector space. These little things right here, right here, and then back here pops up to like uh, travel through sector space. And like I said, this is my layout. I'm, you know, running my uh, four consoles to the. Um, yeah, you know, the ship here, just to knock it at the end of the cruiser type. But like I said, I'm running uh, disruptors so I can get the uh, accolade done to the disruptors. Um, okay, nobody talking yet. But uh, I like it. When you go into Hydra Space School, oh, the TART system. Yeah, the TART. You watch, when we come back, you'll see the little things pop up. There. Okay, go ahead towards... Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll go towards there. And you see the kind of like, open up and glow. There it goes, Dynamo. That is as cool as hell. Because I got a little wood bottle. And a happy little wood bottle. Like I said, I'm running the whole entire fleet, um, you know, fleet set that everything else, so that's what you're seeing. Oh, we're doing that. Um, now Captain Rodero was asking me, you know, how I it'll tank so well. Alright, well, first off, I'm gonna join Trill. Um, uh, I'll do it this way. As you see, I'm gonna join Trill. I've also been playing this, um... 
That's her. Ah, okay, that's a wood steel thing. But, um, I have been playing this for a thousand days to everything else, and I have pretty much completed my thousand days to that all, and I get this, uh, called a veteran's team skill, which gives me a plus five. And then, as I said, I'm enjoying Trill. Now, to my skills, I don't take the stuff in the red. Yeah, granted, I can go into the red and just everything else and all. But you see, I don't go into the red, because by that way, I need to spread all my skills all out, all over the place. So, you see, I'm able to do the energy weapons up to the yellow. The, uh, starship stealth. Now, there's time, because I play the, the Galaxy Dreadnought that has a cloaking ability. Um, that's why I have this one. Now, for engineers and cruisers, you know, you really don't need it. For tactical, you definitely need that for tactical. But, I do like flying the, um, you know, the, um, you know, the Dreadnought ship that has the cloaking, uh, console on it. So, I got that one there. Then, of course, you know, I gotta have my weapons up as high as I can without going, you know, too high. So, I got that up to the yellow. Then I got Tarshit weapons training up to the yellow. The uh, projectile thing up to the yellow. So That's what are these you are. To, Mr. Jimmy, now? Still playing STO? Trying to get on STO, I should say? I'm on in finally, and right now doing a stream show on the Rising ship. You know the little things you got blats when you go in the sector stage? Yes, you told me that. Um. I wasn't sure if I did or not. <laughs> Then I got my targeting systems, and for tactical, you definitely want to knock this out for tactical stuff. But me, you know, because like I said, I'm not going to be going on, on, yeah, because I'm an engineer. But I got it up to the yellow. Ah, uh, then the projectile weapon, that's, you know, of course, your torpedoes and mines, stuff like that. So that's up to the yellow. Now, engineering systems, as you can see, I got every one of them. I used to have this one here. But that's that's only used to throw right here in sector space. Anywhere else, it's got no use. So that's just a waste of energy credit. But if you're trying to do the uh, tour of the galaxy, or you're trying to get someone super fast from you know solar system to rise up, uh, uh, that's only then it's, it's through sector space. Anywhere else, it just to me it's a waste. But other people, you know, they'll knock that thing out and go as fast as they can. On the other hand, like I said, I used to have this here, but I just took it there and threw it into the batteries. Because that way, I will keep the batteries up Ooh, better and... With a person in France. Oh, cool. And Jeanru's playing Tokenon trading cards, so... You'll be hearing Jeanru talking about Tokenon. And gives me a use to How dare you. <laughs> then I got my Harley clear up to the yellow. Wood core up to the yellow. The salt uh, systems repair up to the yellow. The, uh, the structural in in te integrity up to the yellow. The starship electroclavitic system is up to the yellow. The starship and pulse thrusters up to the yellow. The starship wood core potential is up to the yellow. The starship engine deployment is up to the yellow. The Starship Hall plating is up to the yellow. The star Starship Shield the Thornus is up to the yellow. The Starship Armor Reinforcement is up to the yellow. The Starship Auxiliary the Thornus is up to the yellow. And the Starship Gotham the Thornus is up to the yellow. And that's all for engineering type for engineers. But then you got a few science that also for engineers can use. As you see, I really don't have too many. I have the Starship Tower uh, Insulator, you know, and this one, you definitely need this one, uh, you know, when you're getting hit by, like, the Thorgs, uh, Tholians, you know, the ones that like to try to, like, the green, that like to drain your towers when they do it, their attacks and this type of thing else. So I got that up to the yellow. Then I got my shield emitter to help my shield, so that's up to the yellow. My shield system, you know, because it's part of the science. Science and shields is, you know, together. So that's up to the yellow. Then I got this one. Because I do a lot of gravity wells, uh, plasma dumping, uh, feedback pulse, you know, stuff like that. 
I use this one, you know, because that's basically a, you know, a effect attack, I guess you'd say. Because the other one, rather than one, other one, okay, that's, I should respect, because now I'm starting to use repulsor beans, I should respect to that. Um... One of these is... Cannibal... Yeah, there it is, right there. Now that one right there is the people who love tribals, and also the, you know, uh, that initial seeking torpedo which I have. So that's that one right there, but I should, you know, respect that and throw it back up to this one. Because I'm now using tractor beams and repulsor beams again. Now right now I play the Odyssey, so I use that because of the gravity wheels. Now you notice there's only right one right here because I ran out of points. But uh, now this is your ground stuff. All this up here is all space. You know, all this up here is all space stuff. Did you see space skills? Down here is your ground skills. Of course, they don't go into detail. The ground. This is your ground skill. Once again, I don't go into red because I want to spread the uh, points out as much as you can to all the you know abilities that's going to help you. And like you see, I basically, I basically finally ran out of points when I was doing the combat armor here. You see, I got one little yellow. But I've got targeting drones because I'm an engineer. I'm able to do a ton of these you know, uh, turrets and drones. Then I love acting as a tank type, so I've got these generators that I'm constantly dropping down. But I'm also, as an engineer, I can do repairs and stuff, so I've got this thing repairs up to the yellow. And this here is your generators, your... Oh no, that's your hit point. This is the other one. Yeah, there the shield and that authority. Yeah, because this is the your you know your medical generators, your third steel generators, stuff like that that I need to drop down. This is your hit points, uh, which increases your shield hit points. Then of course I can do repairs, that's into the yellow. Um now in one of my kits I got this uh, these nine layers. Uh it also has a um I um there, the transphasic dong right there. Ah, uh, you know, it's like a gigantic big dong I could drop off and then set off. And then, of course, weapon deficiency, which helps my weapons, just everything else. But this is, like I said, my skills, just everything else. Now, my traits, as I said, I'm a joint drill. Um, if I remember correctly, I think this came from the Steam pack before Steam redid their thing and changed it around to what they are now. But there used to be the old Steam pack where you were able to get this joint trail. You got the special, you know, space suit that everything else, or, you know, suit that could kind of help you, you know, that I have. But, uh, detail. Joint trail have access to skills and memories of all previous hosts of the joint Cyndiel. The numbers of the Cyndiel includes your abilities in a wide range of starship skills. Trails have a natural fast and the metabolism which also increases their regeneration as well as uh, providing resistance to radiation and toxic damage. On, th on the ground, bonus regeneration, bonus radiation and toxic damage resistance. Space bonus skill points in starship hull repairs, starship shield and letters training, uh, starship weapons training, wood core potential, particle generator, graviton generator, and subspace decomplier. De de no, I hate these fancy ass words. <laughs> but uh, basically the joint trail like I said, it came from the, uh, I believe, the Steam pack before Steam redid their thing to what it is now. But the joint drill had a, you know, jack of all trades. You had a little bit of science, a little bit of tactical, and a little bit of engineering. And that is, I believe, because of the, you know, if I remember correctly, when the old stats they showed, everything was like 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, all the way down because of the DNA jack of all trade type. Then my personal traits, I've got this. 
Ten Ruth, you watching? This is what I was talking about. This one comes from a lockbox. I forget which lockbox it is, but it comes from the lockbox. They straight your engineering fleet now has now to die a hall regeneration effect during its duration in addition to the existing effect. So each time I hit my thing down here and do engineering fleet two, that um you know the uh, fleet technician will kick in as well and heal everybody and help everybody and then I got uh, ESP and anatole efficiency Grace on the fire, which is the new, you know, engineering building when they redirect all the, you know, skills and traits and just everything else. This is one of the new skills that I picked up. Then I've got Techie, oh, that kind of helps me out in the hall and stuff. Then I've got Wood Theorist, Accuracy, uh, that's science going, it's the science basically. But us engineers uh, can put it to use to help out as well. And then exclusive. Now right now, because I'm still kind of grinding out the um, the undine stuff and helping other people do the undine missions and helping them get their stuff. I inspect all of the undine stuff. So I've got the uh, tactical position, which is the undine rep. Critical component reach, reach, reach the reduction. The, which is the undine, the nanothyder field generator, which is the big balloon thing down here that I could pop out and, you know, kind of help out and everything. No, I took a dark, that's down here, sorry. Um, then I've got nanothrow feedback, you know, which is really interesting because when I started getting hit by a bunch of weapons, they get transferred back to whoever's hitting me. Then to my ground, once again, it's all of the undine settings. The mental conditioning, no mental accuracy, 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 I can't pronounce it. Um, that one, and that one. <laughs> Sorry, I can't say these big fancy words. Now, because I have got all my rep, all, all reputations done, these are your rep. This one here comes from the Romulan reputation. This one here comes from the Dorg reputation. This one here comes from the um, uh, Tholian Rotation, and this one here comes from the um, Undine Rotation. Then I got this one, because I have been basically traveling everywhere this and on, and including using my ambassador, my ambassador skill to go into the Klingon space and travel all around Klingon. I picked that out, so now, you know, my transgore, this and on, especially when I used my, um, um, This thing right here, which comes out of the Excels and the Excelsior shell. Because I got that one right there, which knocks my wood cord down to practically like 30 seconds or so. Then. You see, that's why I got to change. I'm using. Uh. I thought the beans. There it is. Eh! There. And as you can see, he's got, you know, a 200% cooldown rate. So it's going that. Alright, who got taken out? Alright. See, that's not being overload, not the projectile. Yeah, and that's within him. My, uh, projectile one. Yeah. So that's basically my traits, just everything else. The my stations right now. Oh, I wish we'd start doing that. Uh, now, of course, this is my ground scout team right now. Just everything else. The, as you can see, I'm kind of trying out the shit. And this is the shit layout, you know, to this shit right now. And this is the other thing that makes me tank so well and stay alive. This one you have to get a uh, three jolts here to train you in it. 
But once you get it on the it is your best friend because when someone starts hitting you and you throw that, your shield's come up to a hundred percent practically because of the reduced shield polarity three. Pull away and head over to Soul System a little bit. Yeah, that's the World 3 Thigh 9. You can go and look at it there, guys. Thigh 9. But oh my god, I think that is just cool as hell. Of course, it don't have no, uh, quote unquote, uh, you know. Fancy bridge. Yeah, I'll get another bridge. Cause when I uh, got the shit to the, he just had a basic Miranda class style bridge. But since it's a uh, luxury liner type, I decided to throw my uh, Star Explorer bridge onto it. Like any time now. Any time. <laughs> oh no, like I said, I mean, I'm glad I'm back. Um, you know, it kind of locked a uh, fleet and I mean, Delta 3. Um, my hard drives were full, this, that, and all, but I didn't want to delete them. Yes, this is the Star Bridge. And I decided to throw on, because why not? I mean, it's a, basically a luxury liner type ship with everything else, and, you know, from the way the ship is designed and looked at that, now this actually kind of looks nice for a, you know, Ryzen luxury liner type class ship with everything else. So, at the bridge I'm using, it's called the Star Explorer Bridge. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and lead, and then. Uh, we'll go ahead and do some, some, uh, I'll, that, I'll do some FTFs. In honor of Data 3, I'm gonna do some FTFs in his name. That's soon. Uh... Now, to this one, to the dork stuff, it's called the Inigo. Just the dork stuff. I'm gonna take out the ground. Shh. Join. 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 Oh, we got one already. Ooh, Darth Ace 82. I think that's just cool as hell. That whole thing just pops up while you're sitting in sector space. Two, one, zero. Whee! And this is the Dyta 3. We love doing these dork stuff. Let's see, you got a Ronulan. You attack, I guess.
Now, to the ones that don't play Star Trek Online, ooh, that's a loop behind that. Uh, we've got the optional. You have 15 minutes to complete all the missions out the door in a full time. Um, yeah, blue, green, and thorns. Alright, I'm gonna get over here and take on the. You will become one with the Borg. Ah, oh, they ain't got it down yet. Let me get up to here. So the people who don't like Dark Ops Online don't understand the mechanics of it. You think down here, you do not want to kill. You want to kind of knock them all down to about 10% and then blow them together. If you just blow each one up, you'll have a bunch of spears and crows that will come through. And there they come, because some of them are them down. That's what it is. That one's gone, that one's down here, but it's uh, Alright, I'm going to try something. I thought this was good. Really Which way I was facing because it's all blue, in fact. You can see the optional, nothing failed yet. See? Yeah, I think it's 15 minutes, I think. I don't know what the hell, I lagged for some reason. But I always do it. I always handle the geek down here. I always handle the geek down here. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I'm just getting busy in a show off to FT up together. The 
Alright, there's some reason. There. See, optional still running. We're not lost it yet. Dark setting for some reason. That's why I was at the dark setting. <sighs> Sorry about that. Yeah, nice sound with the dark setting. I wonder why I couldn't hear you. And I'm trying to kill dogs. All I hear is the dogs instead of you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we do need it's to, like, take care of the gate first. But uh, since you guys are working on the door, I'll it's help you. You're gonna run out of time. You see, I'm throwing all my dogs at it. There. It got the uh, gig down, finally. Now I'm throwing that snow. Oh, jeez, I'm gonna. Ah, break the wrong break.
Okay, on the four minutes now, four minutes twenty-five. Thirty-five, and it's a three minutes thirty-seven seconds. I'm watching the time. 20, uh, 28. Now it's just hitting three minutes now. Nineteen. Now coming up on the ten minute mark, but we're gonna kill it. It's already down to fifteen already. Ten minutes, thirty seconds, and it's down to five, four, three, and four. Come on. Yeah, it goes two, one. Goodbye. Hey, you got, ladies and gentlemen. I was gonna kinda go through it to kinda get whatever loot's on the inside of the grads. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, that is the. Oh crap, do I have to get which one this is? Yeah, it's all on solar system. Another door. Elites. Now that's to you, Dr. Thrain. You know, this is an honor to you. And this is the rising ship, you know, to Dorg Elite. So, uh, and you ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and like this train. I hope you enjoyed that. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like button. To, uh, click the thumbs up down. So thank you for watching. A uh, little long and dark turn. Bye bye now. Man, just a nasty up there. That's a better shot. Let's go down a little lid statue inside. And now, uh, like I said, this is the Dito 3. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Live long and prosper.